So I've been out here for about an hour trying to put a strap around this section here to close the gaps on the rooftop tent. We got the microphone on, the camera on, the rooftop tent is moved over, uh, the plastic welder, and a fistful of staples. Uh, I've got uh, two options here. These slight little wiggles, squiggles, and then the larger ones. And... I might even throw a couple of these, assuming they go in this way, just to kind of lock the uh, plastic. I don't know if they're going to work any different than the rest of them or not. Who knows? All right, so I'm going to turn the camera around, and I tried strapping around the perimeter of the rooftop tent, but the gap is not closing. Uh, I'm assuming it's because of the metal band that's around it and possibly the rivets. So I'm just going to staple it with the wire uh, staples and epoxy it inside and out and finish it like I did the front corner. So let's get at her. Let's turn the camera around. So I've been out here for about an hour trying to put a strap around this section here. To close the gaps on the rooftop tent so I got to chip this stuff away and these are gonna get sealed a lot better than this once I get the other repairs done but every time I go to tighten it it just slips off and these do not want to close up so dilemma do I take the rivets out and then try it again or just knock the uh, sealer away, plastic weld with the wire staples and fill the gaps. So option one, take the rivets out, try to close this gap, may or may not work. Option two, start plugging the plastic welder to it with the wire staples and then fill in the gap in and out. I think I'm leaning towards option two. Just like that, line it up, pull the trigger. Trying not to go too deep. I'm trying to hit the middle of this. This is a staple that I'm using. I just set it in the brass openings there. Lined up. Pull the trigger. And really. So once I get this done, I can pop the tent and then take one of the struts off, get it measured up for new struts. So I think that was part of the problem. This corner strut seemed to be the weakest. I noticed uh, the last few times I popped the tent while out camping. So I 
I will measure it up because I've looked and cannot find any markings on. So I have no idea what brand this tent is. I'm assuming it's a trust made. And you look up the rooftop tents and uh, whatnot. The shape of the roof and the style of the tents and everything. All looks like the Trust Made brand. So we'll go with that, but nowhere can I find replacement struts. I can find the ones for the wedge shaped rooftop tents that only open on the backside. I cannot find the, the smaller ones for the pop up tents. I did find one that looks to be comparable from another manufacturer, but every time I uh, look, their website says that they are out of stock. So, there are places where you can just buy the struts, but you need the measurements for a part number. And I did look, and I could not find a part number or anything, any markings whatsoever on the strut itself. Oh, that's like a good gap down there. So I don't know what wattage... I think it's a 70 watt. There was a smaller one, a 50 watt. And there's uh, one larger, I think a 100 watt plastic welding gun. So I think I picked the middle one at 70. All right, this side's just about. Done. Just like that. Now, do the same for this one. I'm going to do this one a little different. I'm going to push this down in a couple spots. First, right here. See if that makes a difference. Top part of the split. Is uh, hardly any gap at all. Oh, it's actually spreading apart a little bit. Stain. Flat, anyway. Yeah, as you guys can imagine, I was quite uh, gutted when I seen that the tent had split. And I had a couple of people say that, oh, it was your heater putting heat on just the one side. I cannot see the heater duct from the passenger side putting air hot enough hot air to hit the upper corner on the driver's side when it was pointed basically towards the other door. So possible. Anything's possible. It was cold that morning. And uh, but as you've seen in the previous video or that video of the trying out the diesel heater, the tent did struggle to go up. So I'm assuming the flex in the tent from one side going up and the other side not probably put enough strain on this corner. I was struggling. And it just went, I'm leaving the chat. He said.
It doesn't take a lot to uh, use this. So. All right, so now comes the fun part. Snipping all of these. Well, these aren't very good. Now, a little safety note. These things are just riveting or ricocheting everywhere. So wear glasses, safety glasses, and this will carry your hand up just like old sandpaper. Because there's little tiny nubs sticking up. Not something you want to set your hand on. There we have it. Stitched up. Spiky on. So the next part will be uh, sanding this flat, putting the epoxy in. I'll uh, run some tape on the inside and then jam the epoxy in there and then I'll do the outside finish it off nice and pretty and waterproofed so I have two types of epoxy going on this stuff I'll show you that when I get ready to do that part of the uh, repair so stay tuned for more